Hi everybody, this is a review on the Oracle Cards 44 card deck and guidebook Moonology. You might have heard from it and it is by Yasmin Boland. Uh, the artwork is by Nix Rowan and she's made a few decks with different moon Moonologies. Um, so this is the one I chose um, and this is what the box looked like. Um, you've got the caping which is really handy when you want to take the lid off. It is by Hay House. That's the trademark. It's $25.99 Canadian and I will leave the price and the um, ISBN number in the description box with a little bit of splur or telling you description of what is happening. The energy of the moon has a formidable effect on our everyday life. Use these gorgeous illustrated oracle cards to tap into her ancient wisdom for healing, guidance and protection and learn how to work with her magical energy during each lunation. The accompanying guidebook reveals how to interpret the cards and work with them to create, plan and predict your life whenever you need to make an important decision just pick a card and let the moon guide you remember the moon is the spotlight and it does guide you as it gives light on your path okay so this beautiful classical cutout at the side on both sides as you can see is to pull the box apart I've taken the cellophane off and this is what it looks on the inside. Let the moon be your guide. Okay, now we've got also the moonology. It's quite a thick booklet. It is very good in presentation. Um, anywhere, anytime, card readings on your mobile device, download the mobile app and get a free seven day trial so definitely um, it's about the artist about the author i won't go into that splur and then it is black and white as you can see and uh, you've got the full moon cards separate so you've got the full moon let's see whether you've got quarter moons yes special moon cards so they are divided into sections Waxing moon, I have wonder if that is also segregated from the waning moon, new moon and moon face cards. Okay, so those you can use as perhaps timers. A, um, a spread, three card spread and a four card spread. Also the Celtic cross. Um, and then I the splur. You've got the moon faces here in drawing and drawing. Hang on a minute. Here you are. New moon, waxing, crescent moon, first quarter, gibbons moon, full moon, disseminating moon, third quarter, and the balsamic moon. And that gives you the reason. Uh, clean state, potential dreams, courage moving forward, faith, challenge, confidence, commitment with the first quarter. Uh, Gibbons moon is tweak, home, uh, adjust, I think that's supposed to be home. Um, full moon, results, forgiveness, gratitude. Disseminating moon, relax, accept, regroup. And the third quarter is re-evaluate, balance, trust. The balsamic moon is healing, soothing and surrender. Okay. So they don't use, they use the new moon, but they don't use the full, oh yes, they do use the full moon. It's for forgiveness. Okay. Face of the moon, the wisdom of the moon. I won't go into that. You can read that yourself. Uh, blessing the cards, what these cards are for. Creating life, planning your life predicting your life okay you can only feel the energy 
um, that is around you. You can't predict, okay? I will not agree with that because you hold the key to your life's choices and your life uh, path, okay? The moon can be of influence, so it's imperative to know what energy is around you, okay? Now, we've also got contents. We've got introduction, the wisdom of the moon, the faces of the moon, working with the cards, um, how to uh, how the deck is structured, etc. Interpreting the cards, the elements, working with card spreads, moon faces. And then new moon cards, um, Gemini. Uh, you've got all the zodiac signs here. And then you have the uh, that is in the new moon cards, the full moon, also all the zodiac signs and special moon cards. That's new moon eclipse, full moon eclipse, waxing moon, waning moon, void of course moon, cardinal moon, fixed moon, mutual moon, super moon, blue moon, south moon, note, north note. Okay. Um, and then about the artist, so the intro introduction. Welcome to the uh, mystical moonology oracle cards. The moon is a mysterious and magical luminary up in our skies. Sometimes she, for the name, for the moon is a she. She's also known as Mother Moon and Father Sun. That's the sun. Um, is visible with the naked eye. Sometimes she's hidden. Uh, wherever face or zodiac sign she is in she always has a message for us the moon has been in your life for as long as you have been on earth but how many times have you turned to her for advice the answer could be many times or it could be hardly ever whatever the case the moon now wants to lead you forwards and I'll leave the rest as a surprise for you. So this is how the deck comes. This is the bottom of the box. And it is done with sort of like waxed paper. Quite tough. And it keeps the cards together. So um, let's have a look at the quality of the cards. It is really hay house quality. Thick uh, but flexible. They're matte coloured and um, uh, they are they feel good okay so I'm not going to ruffle shuffle them at the moment because I'm going to take you through and I'm going to see whether it is okay to make the camera slightly bigger so that you can see and watch with me okay now we've got the new a new start in is coming new moon so it's a new start that's logical okay have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon that's the last of the moon before it goes into a new moon your commitment is being tested first quarter you're very close to achieving your goal gibbous moon Surrender to the Divine, Full Moon. Adjustments are required, Third Quarter of the Moon. Balsamic Moon, a time for healing. Now we're going into the New Moon of Aries. Okay. It's time to take action. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Nurturing time. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. A time to give rather than to take. New moon in Virgo. A new romantic cycle begins. 
new moon in Libra. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So this is the new moon, we're going on to the full moon now. Full moon in Aries. Oh, I like the depictions on these. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Expect powerful changes, new moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. What do you need to release? Waning moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Be bold, move, cardinal moon. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Emotions are running high, super moon. Belief in the impossible, blue moon. Don't let your past hold you back. South note. Step out of your comfort zone, north note. Wow. Those were the cards. Now uh, I will shuffle them. They're really great in hand over hand and um, they're really good stock. Oh yes, this is beautiful. First one. Oh, they both came out. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Uh, a new start is coming. Now, I don't know how to use the, the cards yet, 
but one card could be the energy around you so I would have to go to the book and this is full moon in Libra let's see which page that is full moon in uh, Libra that's page 80 I always love learning new things so a win-win outcome is the forecast the full moon in Libra the sign of partnership of falling in love and of closing closely relating to someone else since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions this card suggests you are either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment it's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a re season if a, re a relationship is ending now it is going to it, it's go it's doing so at the right time so try not to fight it the card can also refer to a professional relationship there is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs a win-win outcome is possible with gift give and take do so might be the answer to your question attuned to the moon let go of what that which is falling away additional meanings for the card see the other person through their eyes through the eyes of the love it will change your perspective it's time for you to make a firm decision time for you to focus on yourself for a while look after yourself but avoid vanity now is a great time for a makeover the teaching that this is all described for each um, uh, card the teaching no matter when you pull the full moon in Libra card it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of people around you balance is a very Librarian energy and the full moon brings things to a peak dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the fall that's the forefront Libra enter energy also brings love energy negotiations um, are easier and because Libra the scales are the justice this could be that if you have the justice card in a reading that negotiations will come to an agreeable end I hope you've enjoyed um, this uh, I won't go into that otherwise the video will be too long and uh, of course in the reading I would take the two second card um, but just I will do the uh, a new moon is coming new moon I'll do just the keywords new moon I'm sorry about that they were testing the alarms uh, for the war so anyway so um, a new start is coming um, attuned to the moon is I'll see it when I believe it additional meaning for this card is a new start is on its way you will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well forget about the past but then I would have said forget about the past but learn from the past so there you go that is the little review on the moonology and all the cards they're quite dark cards but they've got also a lot of different colors okay it seems to be pink purple green uh, let's have a look if there's any yellow let's have a look there's also some light ones ah uh, they've only used blue but they uh, yes there is yellow 
but not as much as green and blue okay there you go and that is the box and that is the backing thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel please do show the appreciation because it motivates me to keep uh, doing videos for YouTube. Have a lovely day.